all right good afternoon guys and thanks for joining me this afternoon so you know peter will be held a meeting with stakeholders from nlc i think the political wing of nlc that um i think have a certain degree of control on the labor party now this is in its bid to reconcile every fraction in the labor party and after that meeting he said they were going to have a bigger a larger house meeting but after that he addressed the media where they asked him you know different questions and he said that they are going to solidify their ranks they asked if there is hope for nigeria and he said very very big hope and they are going to solidify solidify their ranks for the benefit of nigerians where nigerian citizens will be put first before any other person and that is the kind of government we are looking for right because the people in power today don't care about us it's about themselves i said it yesterday about themselves about their families about their cronies about you know anything that has to do with them for you who is um, a, a, a citizen you have to fend for yourself you have to protect yourself you have to do almost everything for yourself it's just about these folks what peter obi was saying that they want a government that will be all about nigerians i'm going to be allowing you to listen to him but before i do that let me quickly show you ruto the kenyan president he came on twitter space yesterday to explain himself to kenyans and nigerians were there a lot of nigerians were there on that scene and this is the man that they are saying they want to go even if as they want him to go the man is even still coming to explain himself on space and people are asking now when last have we seen someone like tinubu coming to explain himself to nigerians when last have we seen something like that even before the elections he did it talk more of now maybe as a president him coming to explain himself to nigerians it's not possible and kenyans were even lambasting him on that space some were calling him a liar and all of it let me show you part of that clip watch it and when we we'll come back we'll continue go on and i can tell you i every commitment that i made i said i am going to appoint the judges that were not there i did i said i'm going to operationalize uh, the fund for the police independent police i did i said i am going to do to enhance the budget of the judiciary i did you know when people want to conveniently say a few things that propagate a, a, a certain narrative, it is easy. But let me, that, let me leave that there. Let me um, go back to uh, your um, the Mosop Kurgu uh, story. I want to tell you, my good brother, we have old roads in Kenya. In fact, the budget, the debt we have on roads is 910 billion. Because we rolled out a program that we didn't have money to do. It is what is troubling me now. It is why I am, I, many people are asking me, why are you outside the country? I went to China, for example, and I got 40 billion shillings to do at least eight roads that were stalled. I have uh, come back from the US and we have had a consultation and we, we are getting money to be able to roll out some of our roads courtesy of uh, 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 concessional funding from the World Bank. I have had conversations with the president of, uh, of, uh, of, of Germany, and they are giving us uh, money under the same program to be, for us to be able to meet some of our programs. I want to tell uh, my good friend from Osop that we are focused on these areas. These roads did not stall yesterday. These roads have stalled for a while. We are figuring out how to make sure that we deal with that situation and my apologies that maybe uh, the minister did not keep his word and uh, i'm going to remind him let me do the following on fertilizer i want to agree with you on this subject of fertilizer first let me say this 
fertilizer has made a very big difference in Kenya. Because of our program on fertilizer, we have managed to increase our food productivity. For example, on maize alone, from 44 million bags to 67 million bags last year. We, today, this year, we are going to pay the highest bonus ever in Kenyan history for our tea. In fact, our tea production, because of the support we gave ATDA, has increased from last year, it was 180 billion shillings that we collected from our tea. This year, it's going up to 210 billion. On coffee, the average payment of coffee last year was in the region of 70, 80. As I talk to you now, because we supported our, our, our tea farmers, the average payment for our, our coffee is in the region of between 100, 120, in some very good cases, 129 shillings per kilo. The whole array of what we have done with fertilizer is phenomenal. And therefore, I understand when somebody like my friend from Morsop gets annoyed, when there are people who want to sabotage a program that is making a very big difference in Kenya. And that is the reason why I didn't delay one minute. When this issue of uh, fake fertilizer came into, 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 into the public, all the officials that were involved in it at the National Cereals and Produce Board were charged. When the minister is finally, when there is evidence gathered enough for the minister to be uh, held to account, I want to promise you that I will fire him and any other minister for that matter if there is uh, sufficient uh, evidence to, to, to hold um, anybody accountable. Arrogance. I agree with you that not everybody understands communication. Let me tell you, uh, my good friend from Mosop, the day you become a public speaker, you will know how easy it is to make a mistake in the public. Sometimes you say things that you did not mean, but it comes out very badly. So uh, uh, um, whether it is the member of parliament for Molo, the member for parliament for Molo is a young man. I can tell you that young man is doing his very best. In fact, when I made him the chair of finance committee, many people told me he was too young. I shouldn't have made him. But I wanted to test also young people. And I wanted to mentor young people. And I want to say he has made mistakes. But I want to tell you that young man is bright. He has a bright future. He made mistakes. I will apologize for him. Maybe he, he said what he shouldn't have said. But they are among the young people I am mentoring so that they can become leaders tomorrow. Same case with uh, my, my friend Kimani Ishunwa. All right. Welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. Uh, Ruto came and was explaining himself on space. The sitting president. Kimano was explaining himself to Kenyans on Twitter space. Himself. He didn't send anybody. Himself. And on it, Kenyans are saying, you go. This man better pass in Ubu, but Kenyans, they say, you go go. Nigerians, when will we wise up? When will we make these people know that we give them the power and they're supposed to respect and fear us? Ruto now have scrapped all the budget of the first lady he has uh, he has dissolved some agencies and merged them he has done so much now after this protest to cut cut of uh, to cut cost of governance yet kenyans are saying you will go but we have a money spender here who is eating all what we have all our commonwealth him and his family and Nigerians are just too sad. Nigerians win. We will make these guys learn how to respect us. That is why people like Wiki can open their mouth and rant. Because they know that Nigerians won't do anything. All right, having said that, let me show you what Peter Obi said when he was interviewed about the Labour Party. And what will come back, we'll wrap up. Please watch. People are distracted by this issue so far. No, they are not distracted. They are being distracted by those in office. We are not in office. How can they be distracted? When we're actually doing what is amazing. We still have hope for Labour Party in the next elections. Whose hope? 
Whichever forces that is involved, we will resolve it. External and internal, we will amicably resolve this to the greater interest of Nigerians, not just the Labour Party, where we will start caring about what concerns Nigerians. Nigerians do not expect us as politicians to be preoccupied by party wranglings. They want us to be preoccupied by issues that affect Nigerians, which is their health, their children's education, the food, and pulling people out of poverty. We got up that something million people that will face hunger, with more people being thrown into poverty and everything, and we are preoccupied by party wrangling. We are going to resolve it and focus on doing what we are expected as politicians. It means we are public servants and we must focus on the people. It is about the people. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. Now, this means one thing that Peter Obi has no intention of leaving the Labour Party. Instead, he wants to make sure that the close ranks, he wants to make sure that everybody is reconciled, he wants to make sure that everyone is on the same page, and that is how leaders behave. I remember sometime, I think last month or so, when many people were calling for him, even many obedience were calling for him to leave the Labour Party because of, you know, the rivalry and rancor that was happening here and there. The Apapa is saying this one, Julius Abure is saying this one, two of them are coming together to fight him, this one and that one. You know, plenty crisis. And many people were saying it is time for Peter Obi to leave the Labour Party. But no, he picked up the challenge and he has told himself that he is going to close ranks. He is going to meet everybody that is meetable and, you know, talk to them to come together. Because at the end of the day, it is for a better Nigeria, not individual gains. It's for a better country where the citizens will be put first before any other interest. And that is what he is doing. And I trust Peter Obi to be able to you know, bring everybody together, bring everybody on one page because he's a man that when he speaks, he speaks sense. And it's hard to resist him because of this aura he carries. So I trust him to be able to bring everybody on the same page. Instead of going from one place to the other, running from one party to the other, it is good he remains in the Labour Party as long as he can bring everybody on board. You know, the bad eggs can go and those who are willing to work, put in the work. And you find out that people will come with their fresh ideas and the party will forge forward like how the Labour Party in the UK is doing and won the elections of um, I think yesterday. So it's a very good thing to see and I said I must show you this video. Thanks for watching and God bless you.